She was born and raised in the traditional context of her people. She is instinctive and an intuitive teacher who works from a deep well knowledge of womanhood spirit. She's the author of Welcoming Spirit Home, Ancient Teachings to Celebrate Children and Community. Please, family, let's welcome Savon Cruz Sone, everyone. <laughs> Here, 
uh, not only supporting uh, the brothers and sisters who have brought this forward, but to also come together and to share spirit. And so I'm really happy that each and every one of you is here. But I also know that there are a lot of people still out there who really need to hear what is happening here, but who are not here. And that's why I was saying we have to learn to say things. When we say something, we have to mean it. You know, and not say, oh, I'm so excited, I'm going to come and not show up. Um, that is not giving support. That is only loving each other's spirit, uh, to sleep. And so, um, so the signal we give are very important. Be it a yes, be it, uh, I don't know. You know, it has to be clear. You know, let's not uh, make a few people who are awake go back to sleep because they have uh, given up on uh, us or each other. So, um, the first thing um, I, I have to say is that uh, uh, on a daily basis, there is a way of calling uh, our spirit. Uh, first, because as we go to sleep, there are a lot of uh, places where we journey to, and sometimes when we wake up, we don't even know where we have been. All we know is that, you know, I'm only alive. But if you ask me where my spirit is at, I don't even know where my spirit is at. And so the first ritual we need to do at the beginning of the day is that of our calling our spirit back. Um, because when that does not happen, it's just like, um, uh, have you ever heard of the terms that are some people uh, a little few cross away from their spirit? Because a lot of times that happens. So as you journey in the dream world and you wake up, it doesn't matter you know, whether you believe in dreams or not, you do journey. And so as you journey and you come back, it's important to do a, a ritual in the morning to call your spirit. Where is your spirit? We are chanting, we are dancing, we are in prayer. But you have to do something to call that spirit. And when that spirit is not called, you find yourself very weakened or weak. So you start your day weak, and uh, God forbid, you know, if you go and somebody has a nice smile on their face at work and say, how are you doing today? It feels like your person just stepped on the last nerve you have. And so you start to go, oh, oh, and then they go, wait a minute, you know, how many seconds ago I didn't even say anything back. And, and because um, we are not aware of where we have been and uh, what's happening to us, then our energy is spread thin already to start the day. And so we barely make it uh, to our day. And then we carry the energy of all kind of people with us. And so they're hanging at the fringes of our skirt, pants, shirts, you name it. And then we go right home with that and we crawl in bed with all that energy. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we wake up in the morning and we go, gosh, you know, I have all the, uh, I don't know, I had a good night's sleep but I don't feel restful. Well, you probably took on everybody's stuff with you right to bed, and you've been trying to figure out in your sleep, in your dream, and your spirit has overworked, is now exhausted, and you wake up.